Hello everyone, this is the Puppy Love Cupcake Topper tutorial. Before we start, you'll need 50 grams of sugar paste mixed with a little CMC to create a cheap modelling paste. Colour that with neon pink by Magic Colours and then roll out thinly and cut out three 58mm circles. For the first puppy, I've used a mix of chestnut and autumn leaf food colours and I'm rolling a ball from 14 grams of that beige colour. I've placed a groove halfway up the shape and then I'm patting away the top edge of the groove to narrow and thin the forehead area. I'm now using the Squires Kitchen metal ball tool, the large end of the tool, to add a dimple on the right side of the face. Then I'm taking a small piece of chocolate modelling paste, that's Magic Colours Chocolate Extra Colouring, shaping it into a ball, flattening it between my fingers and then placing it inside that dimple and then using my fingers to fit in place. Next I'm using the same ball tool to push and blend the paste together, so I'm using a very light feathery touch on the outer edge of the chocolate paste just to thin and push it so it looks like it's at one with the beige colour. Now I'm using the same ball tool to add the eye sockets by gently pressing into the paste. I'm now using my fingers to soften the transition and the outer edge of the ball tool. So I'm mainly focusing on the outer and lower edges of the tool marks with a little bit of focus on the inner ones, but I would like that the eyebrows and the nose shape to stay the same. Now I'm using the scriber needle to draw a vertical line and then two slightly curved lines coming from the base of that line. To create the holes for the eyes, I'm using the large end of the small ball tool from Squire's Kitchen to push into the paste and then I'm pushing up and down ever so slightly to make it more of an oval shape. I'm now using the Dresden tool just to kind of press down on the bridge and I'm pushing the paste down towards the muzzle to give it more of a right angle. That sounded like a question, didn't it? Oh well. Um, right, so I'm now using a mini ball tool to add a dimple at the end of the smile and then using the wide end of the Dresden tool to gently press down and create that chin underneath the mouth. So it's a few kind of gentle strokes and presses to get it where I want to and then I'm going to use my fingers to smooth away the outer edge, leaving the chin in place. I'm now adding two slightly ovoid shapes of black modelling paste to the eyes and gently pressing down. Next up are the ears. I've got two 1.6 gram balls of chocolate extra coloured modelling paste rolled into a ball, pinched on my fingertips to thin and then I'm shaping them into kind of a teardrop shape. Then I'm going to attach the narrow end to the top of the head and I have the wide end facing down towards the chin. Moving on to the body, you want four grams of the beige coloured modelling paste rolled into a ball and then flattened ever so slightly and shaped as in the video. And I'm going to attach that to the bottom of one of the pink circles you should have cut out earlier. Then I've got 1.8 grams of red modelling paste. This is coloured with Magic Colours Red Extra, I think it is. No, it's Magic Red. Then I've cut it in half and placed one of the halves above the body, just patting it into position. You may need to use glue, I've just not shown that in the video. So now I'm adding the head to the body and I'm just pressing down and kind of combining all of the pieces together, then using the Dresden tool just to neaten up the collar. Now I'm going to add the nose, which I should have added earlier, but I completely forgot about it. So it's a small piece of black modelling paste, which I'm shaping between my fingers into a triangular shape and then attaching to the top of that vertical line. Because it's Valentine's Day, I really wanted to kind of amp up the love in this one so instead of a standard collar I'm giving him a little heart so I've got a small piece of white modelling paste that I've added a little bit of the magic colours red to to make a kind of pink shade rolled it into a cone gently flattened it and then pushed the end of the Dresden tool in and neatened the edges to create a small heart For the feet, you want two two gram balls of the beige paste, roll into a ball and then slightly into a little sausage shape, attach to the front of the body using a little edible glue. I'm now using the scribe needle to put two vertical lines on each foot to give him toes. Now I'm going to make the eyes a little bit more characterful, so I've mixed some skin tone dust colour from Sugar Flare with a little clear alcohol to form a paint, and then I'm going to paint a circle around the outer edge of both eyes. Sometimes it's hard to get in and paint and dust where you need to, so don't be afraid to move some of your paste a little bit so you can gain easier access. I 
I'm now using some white paint to add two highlights to each eye and I made a bit of a boo-boo here. I didn't wait for the skin tone paint to dry. So the skin tone paint has kind of mixed in a little bit with the white and made it ever so slightly kind of a dirty white colour. So please, when you do this, please wait for your skin tone paste to dry before you add the little white dots. I'm also adding a little line to the top of his nose to act as a highlight. And now I'm moving on to dusting. So I'm using the Chestnut by Squire's Kitchen Dust Colour and a fluffy paintbrush to go around the edge of the model. So I'm doing in between the toes, around the bottom of the feet, around the sides and underside of the body, around the edge of the head, underneath the ears and a little bit underneath his chin and on the bridge of his nose on either side. I'm now using the Magic Colours Chocolate Dust Colour to go over the top of his ears and then a little bit around his eye. And that's our first cute puppy done. I'm just using the Fractal Colours pen in white to draw hearts and dots on the pink circle behind him.